to Children's Castle. Today we are going to read The Surprise Family, written by Lynn Dreiser. First there was an egg. One day it cracked open. A baby chick looked out. Nobody was there. Where was her mother? The baby chick looked up and saw a boy. Her mother was a boy. The boy was not the kind of mother the chick had expected, but she loved him anyway. She followed him everywhere. The boy showed his baby chick how to find water and food and grits for her gizzard. He taught her how to ride safe inside his jacket when a hog flew by or when the vacuum cleaner came too close. Every afternoon, the boy and his baby chick went for a walk around the garden. At night, she slept warm under the edge of his quilt. The baby chick grew and grew and became a little hen. She still followed the boy everywhere, but now following the boy was not enough. She wanted a family to follow her. She built a nest. The boy found a clutch of eggs. He gave them to the little hen. She sat and warmed the eggs, and every day she turned the eggs, and she sat, and she sat, and she sat, and she sat, and she sat. The eggs cracked open. The babies looked out and saw the little hen. They followed her everywhere. She showed them how to find water and food and grit for their gizzards. She taught them to run to her when she sang a danger song and danced a danger dance and to hide safe under her feathers. Every afternoon, the boy and the little hen and the babies went for a walk around the garden. At night, the baby slept, warm under the little hen's wings. The little hen's family grew. They still followed her everywhere. But now, walking around the garden was not enough. They wanted to walk by the pond. So the boy and the hen took them to walk by the pond. They stood at the edge of the water. They looked at the water. They took a drink of the water. They jumped into the water. The little hen cried her danger cry. Her baby splashed. The little hen danced her danger dance. Her baby swam. The little hen held out her wings for her babies to run under. But they kept on swimming farther and farther away. The little hen ran after them, but when her feet got wet, she stopped. She was a chicken. Chickens cannot swim. The little hen's baby swam out of sight. Only her boy was left. Then the little hen's babies turned around, swam back, hopped out of the water, flapped their wings, shook their tails, and ran to their mother hen. She gathered her babies in, warm under her wings. She looked at them, they were safe. She looked at them again carefully. Their beaks were not pointed like her beak or soft like her boy's mouth. They were flat. Their feet were not sharp like her feet or hard like her boy's shoes. They were webbed. Their feathers were not fluffy like her feathers or fussy like her boy's jacket. They were waterproof. Her babies did not look like chicks or like boys. They looked like ducklings. Ducklings were not the kind of family 
she had expected. But she loved them anyway. The ducklings grew and grew and became big ducks. Some afternoons while the ducks swam in the pond, the boy walked around the garden and the hen followed him. Some afternoons while the ducks swam in the pond, the hen walked around the garden and the boy followed her. Other afternoons while the ducks swam in the pond and the boy waded after them, the hen watched. But every afternoon in the garden, beside the pond, after walking and swimming and wading, there they all were together under the little hen's wings. The end. Thank you for watching Children's Castle. If you like the story, please click the like button and share with your friends. If you would like to hear more stories, please subscribe to Children's Castle channel. Thank you. Mm -hmm.